Hello, Cricketers. Welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda. <laughs> and thank you so much for joining me today. As you can tell, I am wearing my Rockets gear. Um, this is a throwback jersey for sure because um, it's number 34. Hakeem Elijah one is my son's jersey. He's home from college. I'm wearing it. Um, I'll have to give it back though because it, it does belong to him. But anyway, in today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you my process for personalizing jewelry. Um, I found a tutorial that I love, that I kind of follow, that I you know kind of tweaked and made it my own. Um, and I'm actually wearing the jewelry that um, I made in the tutorial for tonight. I'm wearing this bracelet and it says, I am enough. Um, and I'll show you, you'll get a picture, you'll be able to see this up closer. And I'm also wearing a ring that says, I am enough. I am in a book club and the last time we met, one of the ladies in the book club gave each of us a ring and the ring says, I am enough. So, um, and I thought that was very sweet. And I said, I want a bracelet to match that. And I wanted to make one and I did. And I made a bracelet for my daughter. So I will show you what that looks like. Very exciting, very beautiful. I'm, I'm very pleased with how it all came out. Um, for this tutorial, you will need your purple strong grip mat. You know, I don't always use the Cricut brand. This one is a Nakapa. I don't have the plastic cover on because I just unloaded my mat with the stuff that I made tonight. Um, I have a basket right here. If you're in my Facebook group, you already know this basket is familiar to you because this is the basket that I use when I'm drawing the names from our Cricut Crafting Challenge, which we have going on right now. We are in our, cha our third challenge and there are a lot of people who have decided to join that challenge and they will be um, doing some layering of HTV. I cannot wait to see their final products. I know it's gonna be amazing. I just already know it. So um, you will need, um, this is called a bracelet bend bending tool. I purchased this one from Hobby Lobby or Michaels, one of them, but I know they sell this exact one on Amazon. I will link it for you. Um, I used, it's open. <laughs> I used a pack of bracelets like this. It, the bracelet bending tool actually comes in the package. Um, and I purchased, you know, the whole thing. I will link it for you. I used the wider um, bracelet for this one. This one is 3 8 aluminum. Um, it's made out of aluminum. I used a pack like this. Um, the brand is Bead Landing. I used one of the bracelets to put together for my daughter that I will show you. Um, so it comes with two uh, bracelet templates and the, the hooks. So we used one for the bracelet that we made tonight and it came out very beautifully. You will need your engraving tip. So if you're using your engraving tip, which um, says 41 on it, that means you have to use your Cricut Maker. You cannot do this one on the Cricut Explore Air 2 unless you're doing I know some people have found a way to engrave with the Explore Air if their product, if their um, Cricut is out of warranty, mine is not out of warranty and I would not recommend it. So I don't even wanna go there with you. Number 41 tip, the engraving tip for the Cricut Maker. You will need some um, masking tape or painter's tape to hold your um, jewelry onto the mat and you will need a hatch fill pattern. It's called a hatch fill pattern in order to make your um, engraving stand out. And that is really about it. Um, that's about it. You'll need your, your you know, design space to create your design. Um, so without further ado, let's head on over to Cricut Design Space. Okay, so I am in Cricut Design Space and I've already uploaded the template for one of the bracelets that I'm going to make. The size is already here on my mat um, and I have it set to, um, as a pin. And even though I'm not going to use the Cricut pin, I'm tricking my machine into thinking that I am. My laptop is connected to my Cricut Maker and um, I'm gonna type out um, the message that will be on this bracelet. I'm also going to make a different bracelet um, that I don't have a template for, template for, that I'm going to make a template for. So in order to do that, I'll just go and choose um, my shape, go to my shapes tool, and um, I will unlock this and type in the dimensions that are on the back <clears throat> of this package. Um, the package looks like this. Okay, it's by Beads Landing, and this is what the front 
of the package looks like. Okay, on the back it says it is 1.73, so the width of it is already unlocked, 1.73, and the height of it is 0.27. And I'm going not, I'm changing this from a basic cut. It's not going to be a basic cut. It's going to be set to uh, pin so that I can put my message right here in the middle, okay? Even though I'm going to really be engraving and I've already um, given it a title, engraved jewelry. Once again, I'm connected to my, my Cricut Maker. All right, and this one is going to be for my daughter and um, she wants it to say Morgan. So I am going to get some text. And I remember when you're when you are engraving on your on your jewelry, you want to use a good bold font because you want it to come out clearly. Um, so I will choose. Um, I think I'll go with May Tommy. Okay. So her name is Morgan, and I need this to be small enough to fit in here. Okay. So I'm going to shrink that. That's going to be very, very small. And put it in here. Let me change the view on my canvas. Now, normally I would decrease the size of the view on my canvas, but I'm not going to do that because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm actually going to increase it a little bit so that I can make sure her name is centered in here. And that is, um, you know, that I have a good image in there. Okay, so I'll select both and I will align it and center it, okay? So that's how her name will look once it's engraved. Now, if I just tried to engrave it just like this, if I just, you know, went ahead and typed my message in my next uh, bracelet and I clicked make it, these would not come out very well. You wouldn't be able to see it good um, because remember in the last tutorial when I did the Milo, uh, the dog tag for Milo, I showed you that you need something that's called a hatch fill pattern. So I have my hatch fill pattern already um, uploaded in my into my canvas and I'm going to make sure that I use it to slice her name out. So I'm gonna put her name in here. I'm gonna select the whole thing and I will slice it. And I know it's hard for you to tell that um, this is nothing more than a black box, but I promise you it's not. So let me move this so you can see. I'm gonna move that, I don't need that. I don't need this, I don't need this. Now I have her name, you see how much, um, how bold it is. And if I stretched it out, you'd be able to see the lines, see the lines in her name. So that's gonna give me a good, nice, solid uh, feel on her name. So I'm gonna, Put it back in here, and I'm going to center this again. Okay, and now I'm going to do two different things with this because this is a pin, but her name, I am going to engrave it, okay? So now this is all one thing, and I'm going to attach it so that my machine will know that I'm gonna have part of it to be engraved in part that I'm going to use a pen, even though I'm not really going to use a pen, okay? Now the other bracelet, um, for this one, I'll have to use my bracelet bending tool and I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna make this one to match a ring that I received in my book club. I'm a part of a book club, it's called Sisters Who Read, um, and we really enjoy spending time together. And the last time we met, um, we um, all received a ring that says, I am enough. And so I want a bracelet to match that. And I'm gonna use the same text, the same type of font that I use for Morgan's name. And I'm just gonna type that text that says, I am enough. Okay, so I have typed it out. And of course, this is way too big. Um, so I will resize it. But the first thing I need to do is um, slice it through the um, hatch fill again. This one is perfect. This one is it's gonna be really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna move this up. Let me increase the view so you can see it well. And then I need to center this. 
Okay, and that is what it will look like. Um, I do think I need to make this a little bit smaller though because the bracelet is not going to be flat. It's going to curve around my wrist and I don't want the message to curve around. I want it to just stay right there in the in the center. So let me, I do want to make it a little bit taller. Okay, I like it like that. All right, now I will center it again. Okay, and my text will be engraved and my bracelet will be set to pin. Okay, so I'm still tricking my Cricut Maker to, um, that it's going to be writing when it's, it's actually not gonna be writing anything at all. Okay, so I have my one long bracelet and I have my one small bracelet and I'm ready to go ahead and load these onto my mat and um, if you haven't noticed, let me remove these lines. So I'm hovering right here in the top left corner, hovering in the top left corner. If I click in this little box right here, I can remove all of the lines so I can just have a blank canvas if I want to, or I can click it so that it looks like my mat, my um, mat. I'm using one of the Nakapa, using a Nakapa mat. And this is the same size as what's on my, canvas so what I will do is make sure that when I'm loading my um, bracelets onto my canvas that they are loaded exactly where I want them to be so that I can get my image engraved in the exact right spot and I'll show you my trick for doing that okay so now I am ready to go ahead and click make it okay so I have two um, bracelets and I am gonna load mine so that one is here at the one and one, okay? Like right at the one axis and the one, one and one right here at the corner. And I'm going to move this one down to the, I think right here to the three and three. I'm gonna load my mat to match this exactly, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click continue and I, you can see that my uh, maker is set to pin and engrave okay I'm gonna click continue okay now I'm not actually going to um, choose metal I'm actually going to go and browse through my materials I don't have this one um, saved as a favorite but the one that works best is the option that's called tooling leather six to seven ounces so I'll choose that and I will um, click done okay and it's saying my base material is tooling leather even though it's really not I'm going to change the, de the default the pressure to more and it's asking me to load my black pen in uh, clamp A which I'm not and my engraving tip in clamp B which I will so I'm gonna have nothing in clamp A, the engraving tip in clamp B, and I'm loading all of this on my purple strong grip Nakapa mat with some tape. I'll show you that in one second. Okay, so I, it, I have unloaded the mat and hopefully you can see how bold the image is. I love, love how this came out. I, love, <laughs> I haven't even unloaded it and I love it how, how it came out. So mine says I am enough and my daughter says uh, Morgan. Before I take it from the mat, I will use my handy dandy a lint roller that Dana G loves. She loves this thing. She was saying it on the um, YouTube channel how much she loves lint rollers. And so um, I just kind of go over it to remove some of the debris. And I think I will um, take my daughters off first. Okay, so for my bracelet, I'm actually going, because it's 
you know, metal. I'm actually going to need to use what's called a bracelet bending tool. I actually, I purchased this one from Michaels. My, I purchased this one from Michaels, but I know they sell this exact one on Amazon and I will put a link down in the description. So what you do is you take it and you put the metal over it. Just make sure that it's flat like that. So it's just flat in there and you just kind of bend it around. Okay, and I'm not gonna bend it too much because I need to do both sides and I'll kind of bend it as I need to, to do, um, to make sure it's even. Okay, so of course, if I tried to put it on right now, it wouldn't, wouldn't be, um, it's not bent enough, but I'll go around, okay. did not take the backing off. I, I need to make sure to do that because when you get yours, they come in a package and there's a, um, like a blue cover on it. Okay. So now I can just kind of work with it. I'm not gonna close it because I need to make sure it's gonna fit around my wrist the way that I want it to. Um, I will probably wear it on this side because I normally have my Fitbit on this side. So I'll do it like this and then just kind of work it around um, to make sure that I have it just the way I want it. And I'll kind of straighten it out a little bit, I think. All right. Okay, so hopefully you were able to follow along with my process. I absolutely love the way these bracelets turned out. This one is for my daughter. Her name is Morgan. I have two daughters, but one of them, her name is Morgan. And for some reason, um, when this one was engraved, um, it kind of, when it took the, I guess the coating, some of the coating off, it looks like her name is like, uh, like it has a red tint to it. It, ma it actually made it more pretty. It looks like it's rose gold. I don't think it is, but it is very pretty um, the way that it came out. This is the bracelet from my book club, and this was the one that I made. The one thing that I didn't mention that you'll need is the uh, lint roller. So there's a lady um, in my Facebook group. Her name is Dana G. We'll just call her Dana G. Dana G. She loves lint rollers, so she's going to be so excited to see that this is in this product. So in this project, so Dana, this one is for you. That lint roller is all for you. Okay, so. Um, if you haven't considered joining us on Facebook, the name of the group is Cricut Crafting with Delanda. Um, we are a fairly small group, but we are <laughs> growing pretty fast. Um, we've been together for about two months and we are right at about 700 members right now. Um, and so it's not very big, but one thing that I love about that group and one thing you'll notice is that we don't do sales, we don't do dumps. It is a safe space for beginners. We encourage one another, we help, we teach, we share. Um, and that's just what it's all about. We share our projects and it is a safe space to ask questions. So I love it there. If you haven't uh, considered joining us there, come on over, we will welcome, we, we welcome you. Um, what else, what is the other thing I needed to share with you? Make sure if you haven't already that you go ahead and click that like and subscribe button um, and turn on the bell for notifications because I upload new content every single week. You guys, I am enjoying this much more than I should because I do have a full-time job, but I do make time for crafting. I make time to interact with my Facebook group because I love that group. I love them very much and they know I do and I know they love me too. I can feel it. So um, thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye.